se sentía en qué hago. Maybe I get one of these. I went to California and TXT had a comeback. If I sound a little weird, it is because I am getting sick or at least hopefully getting over being sick. But we have much to discuss. While I was in California for my birthday, TXT released their new song. And then while I came back to New York, they released their album. So today is currently Saturday and their album came out yesterday. Because I wanted to do a comeback vlog this time around again, I haven't listened to any of the new songs. I haven't watched the music video. The album came out yesterday and I haven't heard any of it yet. So we're gonna watch the music video together right now. Me for the very first time. You probably for the umpteenth time because you're not like me. Also, while I have you guys here, I can announce it. I posted it on my Instagram, so it's not really top secret. Your girl got VIP 2 for both New York City days of Act Promise, their upcoming tour. This is going to be my very first K-pop VIP experience, so I will definitely a thousand percent be vlogging those upcoming concerts just like I did for Act Sweet Mirage and I'm just so excited. They are playing Madison Square Garden here in New York City. If you play MSG, like you've made it and they're playing two nights at MSG. So let's watch this music video because I've been going crazy avoiding their content so I don't get spoiled. All the like concept photos for this album are also so so cute and so pretty. If TXC is gonna do anything, it's slay a concept. <laughs> Subin's vocals. I love Kai with the blue hair. He looks so cute with his hair blue. These lace outfits. Oh, Bomju's vocals, please, don't even. Oh, Bomju to Subin, they did that for me. I usually love all their music videos, but something about this one, it was just so visually stunning. The song is amazing, like they slay it every time. But that was like such a pretty music video. I am debating if I wanna either watch it again or if I wanna start watching some of the live performances because I wanna see how this song translates live. I mean, I will in the tour very soon. Wow, that was just, that was beautiful. It's crazy how much like their sound has matured in the span of a year, honestly. I mean, throughout their entire career, like they've gone through so many different changes and they've killed it every single time without fail. You guys, this is Luffy's first TXT comeback. He wasn't here when we did the last comeback vlog. Look at him, he's loving this tune, right baby? Guys, who do you think's Luffy's bias? I feel, I feel like he's a human Kai. Oh, he's purring. 
Hello friends, so it is the next day. I just got done getting ready. Clearly, I am listening to the album. It is so good. I'm so obsessed with it. Deja Vu, I just cannot believe that I waited so long to finally listen to it. I think it might be my favorite song on the album. I mean, there's only like six songs, but I think that one's up there. I am having a little bit of a late start to the day, so it is about to be four o'clock. There was a um, K-pop photo card trading event happening at my local K-pop store, but that was until four. But now I'm ready to go. I just need to figure out what bag I'm going to take and pack it up. I have some things I need to return to Target anyway. So it's like, here you go, Target. These are things that I'm gonna give back to you. Please give me K-pop albums instead. I am still going to go to my local K-pop store because they're doing a TXT event up until closing and they have the Weverse versions of the album. So I think I'm gonna pick up the Weverse versions there and then pick up the actual album at Target because I'm pretty sure there's Target exclusive photo cards. And if I'm correct, it's them doing the little heart hands. I love those kind of photo cards. I have a few of the Stray Kids ones of the little hearts. I, I love them, I'm obsessed with them. So the fact that TXT is now doing them too, God bless. So K-Pop Nara did not have the Weverse version, but they had the regular versions and this kit version. I don't really know what this is, but I bought it. And now I'm heading to the like Korean bookstore that sells K-Pop albums as well to see if maybe they have the Wee version there. I have a book. The second shop did have stuff as opposed to the first one. We've got the kit version. It also came with this thing. I don't know what it is. I successfully found the Weverse version. I don't know if there's like multiple versions of the Weverse version, but I found this one. And then the second shop had these versions and they actually had them labeled by member. Obviously the photo cards are different than whatever the members are, but I got the last Subin one, so at least I have the Subin album. But hopefully Subin packs that one up for me and it has his photo cards too. Filling in this cafe and I thought, let's let's open up some albums before I go and buy more. In the span of like an hour, I I got three copies of this album. Let's start with the Weaver Squad. I brought my Subin to give us good luck. Subin's in every single one of these albums. Okay, it's like a little envelope. Cute. Oh, they're like stamps. Cute, cute. A sticker, the album. Okay, we've got two cards. Okay, ooh, this is a good picture. Yanjun, our first full this comeback. I'm kind of obsessed with this photo card, so. Okay, oh, did we get it, did we get it? Okay, I'm not mad. This is a very good one too. Good first holes. We'll save the big album for last, so let's do the kit version light. I really genuinely don't know what this is. I feel like I haven't seen anybody really post about this. Oh, the photo card's like right at the top. Okay. Let's see what this contains. Oh, what is this? Does this have like the album in it? It's like a little keychain of the CD, but it's like big. Okay, that's cute. I like that. Oh, and then I think this goes on top of that so you can have like their faces on it. So it comes with like a whole bunch of pictures. Okay, Subin, 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 Subin. What's this? Cutie pie. Oh, with the eye patch. Okay. I actually really love this photo card. 
because it reminds me of I think it was Freeze where he had the eye patch too. It wouldn't it wouldn't be a comeback if I don't get a Union Kai photo card because he loves me. I always quote Union Kai. If you guys saw the last comeback vlog. And then the last one we have. So this one is like I said, it's Subin's photo book, but I don't know what the photo card is. So I'm hoping it's Subin. So we have like a full Subin set in here. I really hope so. Oh my gosh, it opens so interestingly. It's like a whole bunch of pictures too. Right. All the pictures. I'm definitely putting some of these up in my room. Photo card time. Subin, 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 Subin. Thank you. Oh, I'm not even mad about it. Okay, so no Subin, but that's okay. Ironically enough, at this shop, they didn't have Subin out for the album, and they had Bomb and I was gonna buy the Bomb one, but then I saw that they put Subin, so I was like, okay, let me get Subin because he's the one I really want. So I still, I still got Bomb in a way. I love this photo card, so I need to get Subin too, but I'm not mad at it at all. These are the only two that they have and the last of this orange version that they have so I consider it a sign. Also like the majority of these albums are open and these aren't, well none of the TXT ones are, but these aren't so I take that also as a sign. So these will be coming home with me. I realized when I was on my way home that I may have bam toried a little cl too close to the sun today because everything I have is teddy bear themed and then I pulled Bomgu twice out of the three albums that I bought and opened so far. Do I pull Bomgu like pretty much all the time, always, forever? Yes, but am I considering it manifestation based off of my outfit? Absolutely. I am okay with that though because I am a Su Gui. Gui? Su Bomgyu Sugui. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Subin and Bomgyu are my top biases, okay? That's basically what I'm trying to get at. A majority of the targets that I go to keep the K-pop albums behind the counter and you have to talk to somebody. So I was really shocked when we went into this target and they had them out in the open. But as you saw while we were in the store, like every single album was ripped open except for the TXT ones. I got the last romantic version and then everything else they had was promise so I am missing the blue one I forgot what it's called I want to say it's ethereal but don't quote me on that let's open up promise first I conveniently have a box cutter like right next to me so I don't have to like tear it apart oh I love the little ribbon detail I've also like haven't seen too many unboxings of the album because I wanted to be surprised Ooh, it's got like a shiny finish I love that. I don't remember what concept this is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, this is the like royal concept. That's what I'm calling it at least because they're like in crowns. Like, absolutely. Yep. Okay. Let's open the poster. Ooh, I like this one. It's a little dark for my taste, but that's a good poster. And it's not gigantic, which I kind of appreciate, honestly. Let's see all the other inclusions. Are these stickers? Well, I got Bomgyu. I didn't know that they had stickers, and I don't know if they're like member base. Probably most likely because I got Bomgyu, but that's fitting. Then just the regular stickers. Oh, I got Taehyun for my postcard. This is a stunning photo of him, I must say. We are manifesting a Subin, okay? Subin, 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 okay? If you watched the last comebacks Moa Diary vlog of mine, woo, you know that I struggled to pull Subin that entire era. And honestly, I always struggle to pull Subin. So the fact that I got him my first time around, love that for me. This is such a cute, cute photo card. I don't know which one is the Target exclusive, by the way, so. 
Okay, this is the Target exclusive. I got Yeonjun for the little heart one. This album. This was a good album. This one was packed with love, literally. Like, and then the stickers are bomb you. This is like my bias line, by the way. That's my alt, that's my second bias, and my bias wrecker for TXT. But I love them all. But ooh, good album. Good, good album. And now we have romantic. And believe me, don't worry, the unboxings don't end here because we will be finding the other version and we will be opening it together. Oh, this concept is so good. I mean, all the concepts this comeback are amazing. Look at that. The stickers I got are Subin. Love that for me. Off to a great start. Whose postcard did we get? Yanjun. Okay, okay. And now the photo cards. So this is the album photo card. <gasps> we got Subin, Subin with the rose, Subin with the rose. I'm trying not to freak out, but holy hell, Subin with the rose. What is happening? What is happening? Okay. And then the Target exclusive. Okay, we got Taehyun. Look at how cutie he is though. The little heart hand for Tay. So this is my first Terry, this comeback. And I got a Kai, and then I got Bomgyus and Yanjuns and Subin. So I basically got OT5. I never pull Subin back to back. Like literally both albums. I got Subin. Are you joking? Is this real life? What is happening this comeback? But in all seriousness, I need Subin with the heart. So if anybody wants to trade Harry for Subin, hit your girl up. We actually have one more album that we need to buy at Target. So in that next one, we are gonna get Hand Heart Subin, okay? It's going to happen. I can't get over this photo card in particular. This is gonna become my entire personality for the next month, until tour. This photo card is gonna become my entire personality. You guys are gonna be sick, sick of seeing this photo card until June. But I'm letting you know now, this was for me. This photo was for me and it came home. I didn't even know it existed because I didn't see any of the photo cards before buying the albums today. So this was meant to be. The universe wanted me to have Subin and they wanted me to have Subin so bad. They gave me Subin twice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm so ecstatic. It's unbelievable. Hey guys, we're now at Target. We're gonna go look for some TXT albums. Hopefully they have them. I said it was out of stock, but let me ask the first person I see. Yeah, pretty much, honestly. So, I have that one already. Oh, never mind. That's the one that I bought that they this had one. at Subin Pacific. It's kazoo. I also have that one. <laughs> I have that whole row. You don't have this one? I though. don't have that one. Yeah. Dun dun dun. Maybe I get one of these again. I like ran over here. I want this one. I would not win it, but I want this one. It's so cute. We got some coins, tokens, whatever. And we're gonna try for Sweet Piano. He's gonna try first. I'm debating if I should try for that one or if I should try for this Hello Kitty. She's cute. But I don't have enough Sweet Piano in my collection. What if I cry right now? Right now? <laughs> what if tears stream down my face? There you go. Mm, a little more up, maybe? Uh, I think it should be good. I knew that was gonna happen. I never win these. <laughs> 
Well, to give you guys a little bit of context of what's going on. So we went to Target as you saw and they did not have any of the version that I was looking for for the album and I was so close to getting another light but I decided to save my money. And then we went to Miniso and then we went to Tesla X and now we're just in this claw machine store. Just killing time before we go home. I wanted to go to another like boba spot that had claw machines and it was all cute and pink because I wanted to like do a cute setup with my albums and take a picture and all of that. But I searched it and it said they close at 9.30 and we went in at 8 and she's like, oh, we actually close at 8.30. So we just kind of left. So here we are. We're hanging out. And uh, Osmond just tried one more time and we had no luck. <laughs> I got so excited for a second. Hello friends, so it is many, many days later and I realized I never filmed an outro for this vlog. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick overview of my haul and my pulls so far for this comeback. I did just lay out everything super cute on my desk. So since the last time we spoke, I actually have not been able to find the last version of the album that I have been looking for. So stay tuned, maybe in a TikTok, maybe in a future, vlog we are gonna find that album and we are gonna open it together because i said we would and i keep my promises okay these are all the albums and these are all my pulls still not over this rose subin that's the kit album still don't know if i want to like actually use that as a keychain or just kind of display it somewhere on my board here got my light stick version one let me know if you have version one and if you got version two or if you're thinking about getting it i have heard that for the upcoming concert this version is not going to be compatible like obviously you can take it lit up but like it's not going to change colors the way that the new one's going to so that alone is kind of tempting me to get the second one but i don't know because we've been through a lot me and her i don't want to put her to pastor just yet. That is my entire haul and the start of a brand new TXT comeback. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so, so, so much. If you have bought any of the albums, let me know what photo cards you pulled and who's your bias. I hope you have a wonderful day or night when you are watching this. I love you. Luffy loves you and we hope you have a wonderful day. Mwah. Bye!